All right, Sam. Thank you. So the countdown starts sometime when starts you... early in the morning. On wake up on Saturday, flip on the radio, and I'll bet me and E Rock will be exploring some of our favorite bits from the week with you. Tunes are on. You, and, well, maybe after. The and break. you don't let E Rock talk too much, do you? Oh, no. All right, I mean, good. I've listened to uh, <laughs> you guys a couple of times, and uh, and I, it's it, right at the point where I'm like. Shut up and play the goddamn bit. <laughs> you don't like their banter? I hate their Who's banter. Whose banter? Whose banter do you hate more? I can't. Theirs? Whosoever is on at that moment is the worst banter. <laughs> it just gets worse. Whose banter is worse, though? Sam and E-Rocks or the local news uh, team? Whoa, on the local 5. Channel 5 News in New York? Yeah. Um, wow. I got to say Sam and uh, E-Rocks banter is worse. Really? Yeah, yeah. The, because the, at least I can look at the blonde for a few then the, seconds. And the dumb blonde pregnant bimbo on Channel 5 here in New York? Yeah. With with her uh, uh, her partner there who ha hates her guts? <laughs> yeah, E-Rock kind of still kind of puts on that radio voice. Yeah, we've made moves. Uh, the It's been uh, changed up a little bit. The intros are much shorter than they originally yes, were. Yes. We keep them to but, about 30 seconds. Because... And, and I'm sure that was your guys' uh, idea, right? Oh, no, it was management. no. Management actually had one good idea. Could you chalk up one? Put one on it. We have a big poster in here that says management ideas. Good and pieces of shit. Pieces of shit we have extended the page down with stapled papers. Yeah. And good we, we don't have a mark on. Could you put one, one on the mark? good column? And then we will, right. just, we will just put this day as when we were able to put. Take a picture so we can remember, remember? remember when we put the one. <laughs> with the blue paint. Telling you guys to keep the breaks short. Good idea. But what's uh, what's up with E Rock with the fake radio voice? The one oh, thing. Hold on. No. Let me let me jump in here. He's been with us five years. Most of you guys have been here uh, since we came back to radio, wow. right? Steve's been the, is the only one that's been here longer than the five years. You would think you guys and you have, except for E Rock, would learn the one basic thing that Ant and I teach Just everybody. Talk. Just talk. E Rock does. A I fake, learned that from uh, Weez years ago. It's like don't. Use the fake radio voice. He does yeah. the fake radio voice, and his timing is terrible, too. <laughs> Danny oh, probably yeah. picked up on this, too, when we did the Tippy <laughs> Tom show. All right, now, I'm, now we need some fucking examples. No, like, uh, so now someone's got to work and get some of these uh, these cut-ins. You can get the cut-ins from, like, some old shows. I don't care. Because when you throw it, like, I would, like, uh, I maybe it was in my head, I don't know, but I'd throw it to him with the intention of, here comes the wind down into the bit. Yeah, yeah. And then, but then he brings up, he's like, yeah, remember earlier when you said, and I go, it's like, no, don't you yeah, understand? Exactly. I'm doing that so you could just intro the clip yes! and we're done. <laughs> so, yeah, what Sam said. I That's got, it. And then I'm like, okay, well, then I'll intro what I just set up for you to intro. Oh, it's the worst. I got, I got to hear the banter between you and E-Rock. Because Sam, Sam's going to have his own radio show someday. I'm convinced of that. Aww, but the problem is. Crossed. The problem is he's, like, working out all sorts of different partners, and it's just a nightmare just for the trying. kid. <laughs> he, he, between Than oh, and Eastside Dave East and E-Rock. That's, that's a good prospect. <laughs> you, you know, he's funny. He's drunk. <laughs> he is sometimes drunk. There have been issues with recording shows with Dave in the past. <laughs> Can we get some old ones? You got old yeah, ones still around? It's going to take a second or two. All right. Yeah, all right. But you got to find some good ones. So yeah. maybe after the break, you give us some examples of the banter between Sam and E-Rock. And when he's all like, like, yeah, well, here's where the guys, <laughs> were, like, what? he's all, he wants to sound interested. E-Rock? Or, or he wants to sound like profound or something. I don't know what it is. He's just like, yeah, well, this, I remember when the guys did this. <laughs> shut up. Just but then shut the he fuck also up. does a thing where, like, because he listens to the criticisms, and he does a thing where, He's trying to just be sort of like out there, like I just don't care. Here's just a joke that is way too inside and nobody will get. Yeah. yeah. But it like you sit there on it and you're like, "There's you nowhere to go. What are you doing? There's nowhere just, to go with this. Just I, intro the bit in a regular voice. Uh, how, did, how did our show, by the way, become the Sam and E Rock show? I want to know. Yeah. Because yeah. I listened one fucking weekend. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I think we were replaced by yeah, Sam and E Rock on our own channel. They're trying to do like <laughs> wacky things, <laughs> right. doing wacky yeah. bits. So they're talking for five minutes. Like, yeah. like you said, where's the bit? Where's the bit? <laughs> it's a clip show. That's been. Uh... Brought down even oh, yeah. yeah. right. five minute. Hence inference. the one on the good idea column of management. Yeah, I mean, you guys get a lot of freedom to talk a lot on our show. Yes, the you five know, minute intros are brought down to about. You got a fine seconds. bit that uh, we're running into the ground, and you're on the <laughs> yes. air a lot. Danny's on the air a lot. You know, but the the countdown show's got to be quick and to the point. Right. And get to the, 
you know, the goodness of the bits of the week. Yeah. I have no complaints. Now That's all I want to do it. is hear Erock's banter. <laughs> <laughs> I got to hear this after the break. Time is running out. Tick tock. The American middle class is shrinking every day. You know, the people that are uh, uh, hard pressed, we have to help bring them up. These economic challenges call for strong leadership, but not everyone agrees. Some people are starting to go like, hmm, does this guy know what the fuck he's doing? Senator Nagel says Anthony Cumia is the Antichrist. Of course. Chairman Taft says Cumia will destroy us all. Nope. Chief Justice Roberts proclaims Cumia will wipe his ass with the Constitution. Enough already. Wise, benevolent, and even-tempered, Anthony Cumia has the solution to our nation's economic crisis. Just tax the shit out of everybody. Liberal-minded <laughs> philanthropist Anthony Cumia <laughs> will restore balance to our nation. It is like the old communist method of everybody gets a piece of the pie. Say no to discretionary income. Say yes to a mountain of costly social services. This fall, Vote for Anthony Cumia. That's what I am. Tax and spend Democrat. You got it. Paid for by the United Negro <laughs> College Fund in cooperation with the NAACP. Yay! <laughs> I like that one. Hey, this uh, leads to this. Or that leads to this. Time is running out. Tick tock. The American the middle class the is shrinking I thought every maybe it was day. A series. You know the people that are uh, uh, hard pressed. We have to help bring them up. These economic challenges call for strong leadership, but not everyone agrees. Some people are starting to go like, "Hmm, does this guy know what the fuck he's doing?" Senator Nagel says Anthony Cumia is the Antichrist. Of course. Chairman Ted says Cumia will destroy yeah. us all. Nope. Chief Justice Roberts. Yeah, that was the same one. Well, what's going of on? course. What's going on with the guys today? It's uh, my clips, so yeah, I don't mind you, you playing twice, them right? uh, eight huh? or ten times. No, that d definitely came in in two different forms. Did it? And then that other clip the was Roethlis part of the here? Obama thing. What's going on? Oh, my God. It, are you guys is Steve out today? Are the, uh, and things are falling apart? Oh, no, he's here. Wait a minute. Know who's out today? Who? E-Rock. Does E-Rock actually run the Holy show? Holy shit, I knew it! I knew it all! He's the brains of the outfit. He's the man behind the curtain. Nagel! Nagel, that we fat fuck. Nagel. We, we need Nagel. We need Nagel. We need Nagel. We need... Come on! That fat fuck runs the whole operation. <laughs> I knew it! Wow. Oh, oh here's Sam to say no, of course. <laughs> Sam couldn't Fucking get in here fast enough. Jesus, no. Sam. So Eric Nagel, no. what, you're, Eric what you're demonstrating, Nagel. what's being demonstrated they, here is Eric Nagel. Basically, no. if he takes a guy. day off, the whole place falls apart. The place goes Comment. to shit. Comment. Incorrect. What happened? Um, Comment. The problem with the clips, I guess, what, you're just getting doubled up clips? Oh, oh God. No. That sounds like... You're backpedaling, Ant's, Mr. President. Ant's campaign ad, and then Anthony Cumi election promo. Oh, that looks like Jesus. it would be two different things. It certainly which made does. me very excited that How we could play supposed both. To know. Yeah, I know. I that agree with that. Different. And Nagel would have known. Nagel, 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 Join in the chant. No, the shortcomings of people who are here. Boo! Boo! Listen. The shortcomings of the people. Go home and get your fucking shine box. It's not Nagel. Eric Nagel is the e guy that rock, runs the e show. Rock, e rock. For him to be so, like, the, uh, behind the scenes with it. God. Like, we've goofed on him <laughs> for so long, and he's never come up and said, guys, I'm the guy that holds it Sam, all together. That's do, the Iron Curtain. Do the right thing and just fire yourself now. <laughs> it's not me. You really should. Really. It's not me. Go you out came of the in here to glory. bash Nagel, and obviously he's the guy that runs the you whole freaking show. Fire yourself instead of behind closed doors where yes. no one hears from you again. Come on, now. make it impressive. Wait, what? Just no, oh, no, no, no. resign. No. I'm not. No, I won't. resign. What are you doing at 10:30? I just need to ask. What am I doing? I'll probably I'll be doing Erock's job since he's not here. Running, running the program. <laughs> yes. Well, no. Efficiently. No. And smoothly. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. Yeah, it's does. like a well-oiled Italian hero. He sits there. How the fuck did this happen? We we turned on Erock to the to in a good way. Because he's not here to oh, yeah. hear it and bask in it. He spends all <laughs> by, his time. By, by Monday, he'll be that fat get, son of a bitch. Get Erock on the phone right now. I need yeah. to praise him. He's probably not even picking up his phone. Well, he will. He's not time. Steve C. He can't pick it up. Oh, no, he, he's, he's not picking up. Boom! He's not picking up. Oh, of course he's Travis is going to say that. I could just picture oh, it. makes that... Travis look bad if E-Rock picks up the phone. As we're praising him, I just picture his fat body snoring and drooling on his <laughs> pillow right now. <laughs> 
nagels the man. <laughs> He's not. He just archives all Does, the time. Is, wow. is, is Z-Rock like uh, Michael Jackson where he needs like someone to feed him while he's sleeping? <laughs> yeah, just to keep the food coming in. <laughs> I think maybe it's time to call Eric out on the staff meetings. Oh, <laughs> what? Like, we have these staff meetings every week where we have to like say what's going on and like what we're all working on. And, like, I think probably for the last two months, every time it's Eric's turn, he just goes, "Well, working on August vacation." <laughs> <laughs> I always scold Eric after meetings because I tell him that he needs to display leadership qualities and he needs people to respect him because he goes to meetings and first of all, over at the other place when we were at CBS. He would sit on the floor during meetings. If there were all, if all the seats were taken, he would sit Indian style on the floor well, you in know, a professional so, meeting. Let me, let, let me add this in. You ever watch Spider Man? Oh, yeah. You ever see Peter Parker? He doesn't quite handle himself very well. He's well, that. But behind the scenes, who is he? Eric is not who Spider Man. Who is he? Spider Man. That's Spider-Man. right. Spider Man. So, so Eric throwing everyone up. Clark Kent. What is he like when he's Clark Kent he's at the, the Daily Planet? Geek ever. Exactly. He, he's awkward. He doesn't do things. That's but, Eric. But with, with selflessness, he is a hero that oh. helps people and doesn't let it be known. That's our Nagel. No, 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 no. Johnny e Rock. E Rock. E Rock. E Rock. E Rock. He's he is like Superman or Spider Man. He sits awkward at, do you have in a, the meetings and stuff, saying stupid things. Do you have a website dedicated to yes. you? <laughs> E Rock does. Nagel. It's, it's mocking, though. No, it doesn't. I see E Rock.com. Uh, able to eat an entire hero <laughs> in three bite. minutes. In, one, <laughs> in a single in bite. bite in a single bite. That's the line, eh? Yes, of course Danny it is. Gotcha on that one. In a single bite. <laughs> he slouches at meetings. Heavier than a locomotive. <laughs> <laughs> Able to leap over old people to get to the buffet? I don't know. I'm Look, trying here. Up in the sky, <laughs> it's the Goodyear blimp. <laughs> no, it's Nagel. E Rock, E Rock, E Rock. I say we go home until E Rock can properly. Yes. That sounds like an excuse. Here in the fortress of hunger, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Without Iraq, why are we even here? I know. For real, he puts Let's the, go home. He puts the collar of his T-shirts up over his nose in meetings with bosses and slouches and bites the inside of his shirt. He does it. If someone sees what's under that shirt, it's his superhero uniform. It's so he breasts. pulls it up. It's breasts. <laughs> Those are pectoral <laughs> muscles, if you knew the difference. <laughs> e Roth. <laughs> Danny says he's Clark Kent. <laughs> Travis says Peter Porker. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's more like it. Hey. Oh, we, can't, we can't let him off the hook totally. He is fat, yeah. but he's a superhero. <laughs> and what kind of superhero? What kind of superhero takes off every Friday for the foreseeable future? Ah, uh, well, wait a minute. Oh, he got Fridays. <laughs> Did he take Friday? Hey, wait a minute. Anyone have dibs on I Thursdays? I thought we totally said no to that. No, I, I need dibs on Thursdays. That motherfucker. <laughs> oh. uh, Nagel's the man. Who he's can. not. He's not the man. <laughs> he's correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Why don't we uh, move on? We got Bobby Lee standing by. Yeah, I know. Poor Bobby's and why, been out there for a while. Why does Stalker Patty uh, stop by? To I don't know. She's worried about, all the, no, worried about she... all the attention Bobo's getting. <laughs> she asked yeah. me a few weeks ago if she could come up. Can I some. step boy? Has she been in the studio yet? Mm. I don't think so. No. No. Was, think oh, it's a smooth. The other show. Huh? The other oh, show. Oh, yes. R, R and F. Yes. Yeah. Bobby Lee is very paranoid out there. Why? Because he, he said every time he comes here... The craziest shit in his life happened. <laughs> in his <laughs> life. Yesterday was the craziest shit he ever seen. And now Stalker Patty is walking around. He has no idea <laughs> what's happening. He doesn't know why she's right, there. You know what? what fucked up thing can we do with Stalker <laughs> Patty in front of Bobby Lee? <laughs> I know I'm not the only one thinking that. Yeah, I know. True. That's what That's what goes down. Do we have um, another vibrator laying around? Because she was good with that in her pants going. We could find something. Bobby we have Lee a fridge full of sex Can we toys? beat her with sticks? <laughs> Beat her with sticks. <laughs> that would be nice. Oh, look at that. She goes, that hot. Oh, she's got a little gift bag and everything. Wonderful. But Maybe she we says see what... she's got a belated birthday present for me. Uh, she, she probably does. Right? does. I was, I, what? Oh, B, I knew what you brought that. I couldn't make it. So I get... Oh, she's got her O&A all the way shirt on. and oh, Yeah, all right. You don't have to turn around. Wow. Hello. I just came to say hi. <laughs> That's it, huh? You know we're broadcasting, right? 
You know, this is a radio show. I don't even allow show, my family to, to just stop by and say hi. Um, if Nagel was here. We're entertaining the masses. She wouldn't have Without E Rock, which makes it really tough, by I know. The way. It's not. Uh, runs the show. It's not. We found out today. <laughs> no impact. We no owe him impact. A giant apology. And why all the mistakes today? Because certain people were 10 here. 10.30. Amazing. 10.30, Sam. Double people who are labeled here are making shit. mistakes. It doesn't have to do with... They're not supervised. Someone has to take the fall yeah, for this. Yeah, supervisor. Get it? Super. Super. <laughs> That's what he is. Supervisor. Super sizer. <laughs> Sam, 10.30, all right? Someone's got to take the fall not for bad. this. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're going to miss you, but it's all right. I've done uh, such good work right. today. What? Mm, I've done well, good work go. today. Just fire yourself. I don't want to, though. I do good work. <laughs> I'm preparing I a Sandy King work your... here. Oh. Patty, oh, can you leave the same. studio? <laughs> you make me very uncomfortable. You bought a present, though? After no, all years. no. What'd you bring? No, just a couple of stupid magazines I thought you might enjoy. All right. Uh, barely legal? And what? No. <laughs> How about we do it after the break? <clears throat> sure. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> She's got magazines for leave the studio. Don't show Yeah, Anthony. don't show me yet. we got to save this for How the long? air. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been doing radio with us? <laughs> she didn't even answer. <laughs> what can we do? To People's us? voices these days. <laughs> I know it's gonna be tough to come up with a Stucker Patty bit without E Rock here. Yeah, but let's E-Rock try. Bits. Let's just try as a team. <laughs> Moose, Moose mean, Wayne. Jesus. Moose Moose Wayne. <laughs> Moose Wayne. <What> the <laughs> the mild mannered. <laughs> That's a stretch. Come on. Uh, <laughs> That's kind of a stuff. I mean, Moose Wayne is funny. I still love your Clark Kent, but Moose Clark Wayne. Clark Kent and Moose Wayne. Or we could do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. One, one little letter change. Yeah, who wasn't thinking of that? We could give away wrestling tickets in E-Rock's Oh, honor. that's your brilliance oh, that you bring to the table today? <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, E-Rock, thank you, Danny. Danny was just saying good idea. Wow. And that's so odd. What made <laughs> you think of wrestling? Because you never... Oh. Oh, <laughs> well, E-Rock likes wrestling, too. It's just his cover. Don't you understand? No. He acts like that yeah, to throw everyone off the hook that he's actually the guy running this show. He wants to get along with the peons like yourself. So yeah. I'm not a peon. So he goes, wow, one of my guys likes wrestling. All right, I'll like wrestling, too. He I sees what happens see. to people with, of alleged authority. Right. Oh. They get thrown under the proverbial bus. I'm talking about Steve. He'd rather be the bus. Sam, fire yourself. I don't want to. Go ahead. Please. It's time. No. For real. No. For real. Why I know we made it a bit last week, but for real, it's time. I do good work. I do a lot of work. Fire yourself. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, you fire yourself. I don't want to. Danny, you, you want to see him go too, Come right? On. Sam? Yeah. More than life itself. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I don't uh, understand this resentment. Do you have anybody that supports you here? For real. Not the fake support that I give you. Opie is uh, truly the gas well, can. Then. Opie is a ga- walking gas can. He sees a spark and just walks up to it and tips his head. Wow. Who really supports you here, Sam? Well, here's the thing. Obviously think... not Danny. No, Danny does not. He threw E-Rock under a bus, even though he's not here to defend himself. Right, that. so That's E-Rock nice. doesn't anymore. That's uh, nice. Mm. Travis probably going to stick with Danny. Yeah. Uh, I bet I would have had Steve until the beginning of this week. <laughs> <laughs> when, uh, I completely... Yeah, you might have yeah. lost one there, huh? Yeah. Um, lost a vote. <laughs> I think... Uh, it makes it. Intern it, David is gone. So. Well, yeah, he was. Oh, you were his hero. And you yeah. know, if you're out of the picture, it makes it easier to have a relationship with side piece. So. What are you talking about? Oh no, yeah, for me too. Probably. That hot yeah. for who? Hot yeah. girlfriend of yours. Yeah. I appreciate that compliment God. that you're giving her. She's but, very cute. Yeah, I think so. In too. the words of Tracy Morgan, you better put a baby in her belly. <laughs> you know what right. she? You know what she reminds Cause me? Cause, yeah, because we're swarming. Baby. We're no. swarming around. <laughs> you know what she reminds me of? Like. Just about every girl I looked on, at on the porn sites I was looking right. at last night. She's she's got, it was like the, she has that cute face and everything. And she's good looking, but she's, she's not on any porn very sites. Very attractive. But I wasn't implying that, sir. I okay. never would. That's disrespectful, and I would never do that. I appreciate that. But she has that cute face and very nice figure. She mm. does have a nice yes. figure. Yes. What is Danny? Oh, my mm. God. Look at that. That was at a wedding. What's she doing with you? Is that Dancing. my wedding? No, I get that was, angry when I see that. That was last weekend. I'm so mad. That's last weekend? Yes. She just gets better looking. Are you That's doing the true. tango? What What's wrong with you in that picture? Just posing. Is that the tango? Oh. It's a silly picture. Yeah. Just a silly pose. Were you wearing your sport jacket with the uh, anchors on the buttons? <laughs> oh, I wasn't wearing a sports mm, jacket. It's easy to grin. <laughs> <laughs> you wearing a Judge Smell's jacket? 
<laughs> I looked good at that wedding. I, I, think, I think you wore that to fans, if I recall. Did you? Sam, give away your wrestling tickets. So okay. We, so we can be done with that dumb wrestling yeah, thing. For done with. Well, the good thing is, you. Yeah. we have two tickets to Night of Champions this Sunday night in Philadelphia. Why are you cricketing? It's an amazing pay-per-view with every single WWE championship on the line. Yeah. People can go. If you can get to Philly, we're not. Be more funny. I'm, I'm trying to. <laughs> I can't. If if you can get to Philly, because we're this not. This is going great. I thought so, too. Because. Well. We, Oh, shit. Okay, if we're not providing transportation, so you have to get to Philly on your I own. Don't care, <laughs> I don't care. You should care. It's I tickets don't, don't to see Night of Champions. Care. Triple H, care. John Cena, Rey Mysterio, Jeff Hardy, care. Randy Orton, and your favorite superstars care. battle for WWE gold. Night of Champions is this Sunday care. night on pay-per-view, July 26, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. It's only on pay-per-view, but you can go see it live if you call the Opie and Anthony show. We'll give you two tickets to Night of Champions. You get to see it all. It's at the Wachovia Center in Philadelphia. One more time. No, I don't care. I don't care. Every WWE Championship is going to be on the line. Raw, SmackDown, I don't care. (laughs) They're all going to be there, live and in person, and you can see it. You just got to get down to Philly, go to the Wachovia Center. All you have to do is call the Obi and Anthony Show, 866-WOW-1-WOW. We'll give you two free tickets. Two free tickets to WWE Night of Champions this Sunday, July 26, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. It's one of the biggest pay-per-views of the year. They put the tag team title on the line. They put the world title, the WWE title, everything. Oh, da 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 da. So call oh, da 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 Wow, we gotta use that clip. Oh, da 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 da. That thing is great all the way to the end. <laughs> what were you one. saying, Sam? I was you listening could, to Kim Mini. He's very yeah. funny. Tickets. Oh, da 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 da. Pay per view that's this Sunday. Asshole. <laughs> call now and get okay, them. Okay, faggot. What's next? <laughs> Asshole! <laughs> it's a very nice thing. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh! So Sam, make shut your, your goddamn pie hole. Make yourself available at uh, ten thirty today, please. Yeah. Meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Steve Bladder's office. Yeah. Oh, cool. Promotion? Uh, just you. Promotion. Just, just, oh, oh, that's a laugh. Yeah. And just me. Yeah. Wouldn't have D- to be. And Danny guard the office. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know why. You also, need to... bring your. Uh, your ID that yeah. gets you into the building. Yeah. Oh, I have it just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just bring bring sure that to the on, office yeah. too. What in case Steve wants to go to lunch or something? Uh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. If yeah. they want to change yeah, the title on it to you know oh, for your promotion, I like yeah. the way that sounds. You're being made. Hey, hey, what, what, okay. What about being made. <laughs> like that. Yeah, Travis, over here. We go to break uh, with this from Dave Chappelle. <laughs> A burp? <laughs> no. Bobby Lee next. Stork and Patty. And hopefully not Sam. Why? What? You said not Sam. Hopefully E-rock, not me. E-Rock. 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 Wait, there's a note outside the studio. What is that? How are we supposed to read that? Are you crazy? That's Fat Matt for you. Fat Matt. Fat Matt. Come in. Come in for a second. <laughs> you oh, I you put a note against the window that just going to be angry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, Matt. look out. We oh, know what boy. this guy's all about. What's Hello. up? What do you, what's the note? Yeah, what's the note? Steve told me to stand in front of the window and hold this note But up. who could read that? I don't know. He just told you, me to You're st- fucking 20 feet away through a window, and it's written in, like, light pen. Ballpoint pen. Ballpoint pen. pen. Written in a sharpie around or something? Ballpoint roller pen. <laughs> Steve just scrolled it and handed it to me say, here, hold this up. It's the thinnest pen that they sell. <laughs> yes. Fine point. If Fine E-Rock point. was here, he would have used a big fat fucking sharpie a to make that note. I can't control everything. I'm in the studio. Condiments. Yeah, condiments. <laughs> You've written it in That's ketchup. Right. Hey, whatever. We'd still be able to read, read the fucking it, note. This what is, does it say? Not my fault. Sam, I want to win those tickets. Whoa. What do you do for him? Something embarrassing? You know really you thought it out. Can't. I know I can't. So Don't call you know the show. I did. The phone number was busy. A lot of people want to win these. What are you doing? Is this your last uh, pair of tickets? We only got one pair. Oh, well. You know, people <laughs> associated with the program <laughs> cannot win this. I know. Beat it. So leave. Okay. Oh, so wow. quit. I'll leave. Quit and sorry. then go to a pay phone. It's <laughs> a rough one. And you can call. 
Oh, well. Ooh, Matt. Sorry. Oh boy! <laughs> I still totally nailed him. That's rough. What? <laughs> All right, we'll go to break with Dave Chappelle. Hopefully, Sam will be gone by the time we get back. See, yeah. you did it again. Fair to did dream. what? You just said hopefully Sam will be gone. I'm standing right here. Well, because we're gonna move on to other things. That's all. Ten thirty. Steve Blatter's office. Uh, yeah. Can we play? Uh, can we play the final countdown every time Sam comes into the Why? studio today? Because it's kind oh, of the I final see. countdown. We just want to make it special for you. What? So you can be added to the list of people that used to work here. What are you talking about? And then people that will will go like, oh yeah, we'll keep in touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and then you know. No. Yeah, but this. Well, I don't even understand where this is coming from. And then you can write your angry article. Oh, my angry enemy. (laughs) (laughs) My whole life fell apart because they didn't. I I couldn't suckle (laughs) off Opie and Anthony's tits anymore. (laughs) Fuck yourself.